Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 10 of Rimworld, the Monastery. That's right, we joined the followers of Kopesh today, as always, as they work on their monastery. That's sort of the whole theme of this thing. Um, while in between episodes, this room got dug out, uh, I noticed I did actually need to have this wall double thick, so I moved everything over one tile, and the door will be there now. So we should actually probably cancel that smooth job, considering uh, there's nothing really, no wall there to smooth, that might glitch them out. So, walls, mostly smooth, we got all the vents we need in, oh, uh, minus one, I see, there we go. Uh, we're going to need to do quite a few things to get this base up and running still. Uh, we got some of our conduits run, but really we need the walls smooth before we can do a decent number of them, uh, with the exception of this one right here, that can continue going around. Lovely. Yeah, we will be leading the conduits up through, I think, internally I'd like to do it um, on the internal wall, just because it's safer. But really, no one should ever be inside this thoroughfare. No enemies, anyway, that is. So for now, I guess, you know what, it's probably not that much of a big deal just to run it wherever. Uh, we are still in excess of 1450 uh, watts, which is nice, and we have a new colonist, BB. A fearful, a fearful chef? I have to know. BB, you're a nudist, which isn't going to work well in a, um, you know, sort of boreal follows. But what's a fearful chef? One day he left the stove on and accidentally burned down the whole building. This event shook him so much that he swore to never touch a stove again. Well, you're kind of, you're kind of freaking useful, aren't uh, you? You're a researcher and an artist, so... BB, my man, uh, you can be number one art. Uh, no, no doctoring. Bed rest, hall, flick, sure. But that's pretty much all you're good for. You can do, you can do a two research there. Uh, let's get you a new name though. Okay, so from the subscriber list, you will now be known as du -du 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 -dum, Ferrero, Mike Ferrero. Uh, how do I spell this? Mike, sorry. There we go. Mike Ferrero. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh man, having having two screens helps so much. Well, three screens actually, but uh, uh, second one, second one's good for things. Okay, you don't fight. You don't do much, Mike. Uh, it's okay. Nudist, nudist isn't gonna work here. Uh, maybe once you're inside the base and we never let you leave so you don't die of hypothermia. But for for the most part, uh, it's not really the best thing. Uh, all these walls damaged. I think someone was on going on a tantrum. I think it was Garen. I think. Yeah, probably. Anyway, crematorium is up, which means it's time to start processing these bards. Uh, for now, I'm kind of okay with um, leaving the raiders out there on the corpse cliff, but our colonists, just to clear up this bar, need to be done. So let's do forever details. Uh, we're going to want only colonist corpses. Yeah, just like that. And I don't care where they are. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, the volcanic, the cold snap is finally over, so we can plant things again. Uh, yeah, sure, plant some cotton, but rice, that's going to be the big one. That's what we need. Panoxicillin supply is still going strong. I think that only Hun is on that. Hunism, yes! The great, the great uh, mini religion of Hunism. Okay, Stefan's on a fire starting spree. He's gonna burn like the three bits of wood inside this mountain. So we'll just, I guess we'll just let him do that. Uh, people will put it out when they're done, you know, smoothing floors and things. Uh, is he done? Who was it? It was Stefan? Yeah, he's, 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 he's chill now. He's, he's, he's on it. He's doing his own thing. Let's go up to four times speed, let them smooth some of these walls. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, in order to smooth this inner wall, we're gonna have to mine out all this crap, so we might as well get that queued up now. All these stones can get hauled by the dogs when they have time. Beautiful. Aw, oh, look at all these little puppies, man, they are so cute. They do eat a lot of food, though. Uh, oh, okay, we've almost got the uh, guest room down, so let's go ahead and start throwing in doors as we're gonna use them. So a steel auto door for the guests. Uh, we're going to need to put in a nice floor here. Lovely, just like that. Uh, zone area, we're going to have to delete uh, these zones right here so we can put the thoroughfare walls in. And that means we're also going to need to move these stone chunks. Just get them out of the way. We do still have this entire area. We're going to have to move things on that side as well. So that's, you know, let's just preempt that and uh, delete the two inner walls, there we go. We may have to dig out more space to, uh, you know, dump stuff so we have more space to dump stuff. Uh, as much sense as that makes. Okay, it is night time, unfortunately. Hun kind of sleeps for like three minutes every night, so he's, <laughs> look at that, look at the way that jumps, man. That's insane. Yeah, he's he's just sort of like in a consistently great mood, which, which helps a lot. 
Um, okay, titanium, that's getting done. But the big thing here is that we've now exposed this wall to be smoothed. Great. Eventually, once we've etched it, you won't really be able to see a distinction between the granite wall and the smooth wall, except that they, uh, the granite wall um, gives resources when deconstructed and has a little bit, quite a bit less health, actually. I think it's, yeah, uh, it's only 160 left, but you know what, that, that makes a difference. That, that's a couple raider hits. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We got a lot of people working. Fire foam has been researched. Wonderful. Um, what's next on the list? I didn't check. Multi-analyzer to speed things up, and then onto hydroponics. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's now work out how we're going to do this guest bed. So, i got to stop pausing. I always forget. Now, it doesn't provide the best rest effectiveness, but we are going to put the guest beds... Uh, I think we'll make them out of granite, just because we have such an excess of it. Uh, the logs, I'd like to keep. Wood is in astonishingly short supply. Okay, prison break. They've knocked out. Who's going for it? Oh god, Lhasa, you're gonna die, mate. Uh, just shoot, shoot one of them. That's your best bet here. Uh, Alice, you're gonna come here with your micro Uzi. Uh, yeah, no, no, you're not gonna break my doors, asshole. Oh no, take cover, take cover, take cover. Oh shit, okay, they have armed up. Ferrero, you don't fight. Oh man, this is not good. Everyone's in the wrong place. Garen, uh, you do fight. Come and get yourself a shotgun. And then man the steel gun complex. For now, Alice, I'm gonna get you to run inside so that you don't get hit by the turrets. Come on, there we go. Okay, Garen, get over here. Move up. Alice, you're free to go. Ferrero, could you please... Oh, we'll capture them just now. Because he's going to try and knock through this wall, which is no bueno. Oh, man, come on, just hit him. Oh, Garen, you're so shit. There we go. Don't get shot now. Beat the dude up. Okay, you know what? Go in for the melee... He is... There we go, yeah, he's he's injured. It's gonna be quick. Are you rescuing... Ferguson, can you rescue Lausa, please? Thank you. And then it's all... It's all resolved. Okay, good. Uh, Tona needs to be captured. So, Bear, could you... Beast, rather, could you capture him? Stefan, could you capture Senra? Lovely. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, Lausa, are you on your feet yet? No, you're still pretty messed up. Just bruised, though. That's fine, you'll live. Okie dokes. Uh, we do get a bunch of herbal medicine in some drop pods, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Okay, so Lausa was the one who let them out. He had a snap, was like, I'm gonna let these guys out. That's why he was in there. And he incited a riot and got beaten up in the process. I feel like that's due punishment. Uh, no, no further beatings are necessary. Uh, we'll allow it this time. Okay, good. Let's get the gun out of there. And Garen, you aren't armed. Okay, you aren't now. That's fine. So to make sure everybody you can fight has a weapon of some kind. Ferrero Milk, you do fight. Yes, yes. Oh god, you're a good shot. Uh, let's get you a sniper. Ferrero, do you fight? No, you're, yes, you're the fearful chef. I remember now. Oh, that's what we were making, is hoods. So everybody looks like a colonist. Okay, and as our food stocks dwindle rather dramatically, in fact, we are uh, pretty much on the verge of starvation for a few people, a, a group of thrombos have entered the area. So, now, these things, they're a bit of a dangerous, a bit of a dangerous gamble, to be honest. Uh, let's get everybody centered up. Because thrombos, well, uh, how do I put this? They have a habit of ripping your colonists limb from limb really easily, uh, because they are essentially just uh, a, a giant horn on legs. Now, we can deal with them, but we're going to need to bring to bear the entirety of uh, our firepower, because they also produce a crap ton of meat. So, uh, Lausa, let's get you your LMG again. Ferrero, you don't fight, so you can go into the base and hide. Uh, right? Yes. Okay, so then, Kigath, on the gun complex. Torres, doing the same. Th oh, Lewis, rather get on there. Alice. Uh, Beast, I think, has gone nuts. Yeah, he has. Okay, so Alice... Uh, let's get your thing going. Uh, what am I trying to say? Words. Okay, Lausa, get that. Then get on the steel gun complex. Okay, now we are behind cover, so we should be able to kill these things with relative impunity. Okay. Now they probably... Oh god, Milk. I didn't see you out there, but you're gonna die. Oh, you are so dead. If we didn't just cause brain damage. No! Surprisingly, 
milk lives. Okay, let's put these guys down. As you can see, they can absorb a truly insane amount of fire. Okay, beat that thing. Who else is out here? Where's that thrombo going? Okay, it's coming back up. Now let's wipe this thing out. This one hasn't enraged. They typically won't attack you unless you attack them. So it's, uh, it's a good idea to, to just sort of pick them off one at a time. Oh man, okay, this is this is a bit of a slaughter, but we eat tonight. Ferguson, my dude, you're gonna butcher right now. Okay, we'll butcher the fox, sure, do whatever you want, but butcher. Our people need to eat. Okay, now all of these need to be hunted and finished off. Okay, Ferguson, what are you doing? You are butchering, good man. Okay, these thrombos, there, you're gonna see it's gonna just dump like killer tons of meat onto the floor. There we go, and we're gonna cook those up. Perfect. Uh, beast and milk, the only ones starving. Let's make sure they get fed. Okay, good. Ferrero, finish up your sculpture, sure. And then could you please feed milk? Uh, there we go. Garen was gonna do it, but we'll get Ferrero. He's right here. Okay, Beast will eat when he's done being insane. There we go. A, and we have completed the task. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I'm gonna do something I didn't do, which I should have, which is expand the allowed animal area. All right, this is animal area one, yes. To include this. All right, and we're going to remove that because this was for our muffalos initially. Now, that's our entire food area. So what we're going to do is go into manage areas and we're going to say invert. And then we're going to assign all of our doggos to, basically they can go out and eat the corpses and they can haul things all around the base. They just can't come into the food area. And that's fine with me, because that means that the odds of them, uh, you know, accidentally eating through our food supply when there's a perfectly good pile of human bodies for them to eat are pretty low. We've also processed through... Oh, Kagath, you need to fight that lynx. Oh, you've killed it. Good man. All right. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Uh, yeah, I scheduled up a bunch of predators to be hunted, which is what that combat notification was about. Extreme break risk. Torresk, yeah, he's pretty bleak. He needs to eat. They're all getting over malnutrition, so they'll slow. They'll they'll eat a bit more than normal for a while. Uh, send away the guests. We are nearly there. We have guest beds being made. Uh, okay, Ferrero, you can sleep in there for now, but uh, that's not where you belong, mate. We're almost there. We're almost at the point where we can put our colonists in these rooms. Okay, uh, we're probably going to want a kitchen in before we go any further in that regard, and which we could probably do down here, right? Um. Maybe just underneath the, the guest area. Shen from Concord, he's an orbital reservist and his traits are petty and brawler. Come on in, Shen, you balding weirdo. Let's go ahead and immediately rename you to... Da -da -da -dun. You will be after Ferrero, which makes your name... Matthew. Oh, but you know what? We've got so many Matthews, they're going to call you Stevens. Thank you, Matthew Stevens, for the subscription, my man. I hope this finds you well. Okay. Stevens, he's in. He's a reservist. What can you do? What are you good at? You're a good fighter. You're a decent grower. Um, surprisingly, not in particular demand growing, but, you know, we can always use it. Uh, let's go ahead and get you set up at plant cut. I should probably get everybody on a three, at least, for plant cutting. Uh, how are we on wood? We've still got a thousand wood. we got plenty. But let's get you number one grow, number one hunt. Okay, nice. Alice is having a tantrum, as one does. Please don't break any of the beds. Thank you, Alice. Uh, fix up everything she breaks. Okay, as long as she doesn't bust up the, uh, the Glitter World medicine, I'm happy. Okay, that didn't get broken, so we're safe. Oh man, I once had a colonist, um, they went on a tantrum, and they beat a bunch of incendiary shells to, to, to breaking point, essentially, which, which exploded, obviously, and uh, took out my entire base. So, while tantrum can be harmless, it can also really, really not be harmless. Oh man, these walls, they take so long to smooth. Uh, even at the speed, it's just ridiculous how much time it takes. Uh, fire starting spree. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this colony under control, and I'll see you guys in a second. Once uh, once once we've got things back. Oh, never mind. As I started doing it, we have a raid coming in, so that's gonna be everybody back inside. Everybody, you know what? What am I doing? Just do this. Everybody come inside. Hun, Ferguson, and Ferrero. You guys move over there. I really should get the defensive positions mod, just to make this all a bit easier. Okay, Ferguson, you're moving Torres. Okay, go there. Milk, my man, you need your rifle back. Get your sniper. Uh, Garen, get on the gun complex. Alice, on that one. Stevens, on that one. And Gagath, 
on that one. Beastie Boy, take your position. Stefan, get some LMG suppressive fire. Lewis, uh, you can come stand up there. I think these guys are coming straight in. Yes, they are. Oh, and they're nice and close to the body glyph. Perfect. Oh, whoa, that's kind of cool gear. What are you wearing? Uh, a tunic. El Mogo. Awesome. Tunica El Mogo. Ritual vestments of the ancient now extinct, tri extinct tribe of Chuon Tuna Sandwich. That's hilarious. El Mogo for short, the old Mogan Muffalo prophets <laughs> prophesized of a day when three meteors bearing sleeping gods would descend from the skies. Common belief was that the gods would build a lift to the spirit realms. Well, that's heresy and we're going to purge it. Kopesh can stand no such alternatives. He is the only way. He is the true way. He is the final ultimate solution. Oh wait, no, that's something else. Never mind. Uh, uh, <laughs> just <laughs> rewind, ignore I said that. Let's make sure these guys go down. Oh, fuck. There goes my... Damn it. Ah. Uh. If only that wasn't so indefensible. Um, I think what we're probably going to do is wall this off once that's rebuilt. What is burning? A steel slag chunk? Something's on fire. I think just the air. Oh, God. Kigath got wrecked. Yeah, that's all. it's all the crossfire. It's not the best system we have set up here. Uh, Lao, so you're free to go as well, man. Okay, are you guys worth saving? Um, food's fine at the moment, so maybe. Maybe. Uh, gunshot, yeah, you're gonna die. Okay, we'll save, we'll save this one. Um, let's get Ferguson. You need to be doing nothing but cooking. Who is my cook? So I'm gonna get you off Hall Plus, so you can just, you just cook, man. Because I don't want, like, because when you're doing Hall Plus stuff, more often than not, you'll end up, like, running out of food or something, or clothes are not being made. Uh, nah, I think there's one time we're gonna let the people die, because we need everything else to be done first. Okay, so all the bods, those can get moved onto the storage pile. Thank you, Arctic Wolf, for doing your work. Oh man, when you can tame wolves to haul stuff, that's when you know it's good. Okay, and these little puppies are good to go. Let's get all that hold. let's get all that trained. Lovely. Lewis has gone berserk, that's okay. So they'll just, they'll beat him down. Uh, melee, melee attack, please. Just, just, just beat the dude down. No, you don't shoot my dogs, asshole. There we go. And he's good. Okay, someone will rescue him. Someone will do it. It'll all be fine. And Stefan is cowering. Yeah, we need to, I'll, I'll sort our priorities. You know what? I'll see you guys in five. I'm just gonna, just gonna get things under control, as I said. All right, so while I was zooming through things, a mental break happened. It was a slaughter. I was going too fast to catch it. And Torres has committed the most terrible of crimes, that of canicide. He has killed Harley, our beautiful, beautiful doggo, who I believe was... Uh, yes, our new one. Harley was our brand new Labrador Retriever. Now, you guys know the rules. This is, uh, this is a, a... Oh man, this is, a, this is a crime of the highest order. So they are still in the slaughter and mental state which means I'm not going to risk them running into anybody else and killing one of our other animals. So, of course, it is time to beat the living shit out of them. Uh, everybody here who can attack is going to come and beat up Torres. Good men, just like that, fantastic. Everyone's free to go. I'm going to get... Uh, who do we want to beat up? Torres, what were you good at? Are you worth... Yeah, okay, you're, good. you're dead, man. Sorry for you. Lewis, who shall be our executioner? Perhaps Kikath, as the oldest member... Uh, we'll use Torres' assault rifle on him. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, don't you rescue. Oh, you know what? Maybe let's, let's let the dog rescue him. It's kind of like a perfect poetry. Um, can you finish off Torres' reserve by Stevens as Stevens coming in to kill the guy? Uh, no. You're going to... Uh, oh, wait. I have to shift. Oh, you don't have the melee skill for it. Well, you can just shoot him to death then. Perfect. Torres... Oh, I should have stripped him. Every time. I always forget. Okay, everyone else, you're free to go. Do your thing. Now, how are we going to run power from this geothermal generator up to this? Well, the easiest answer, of course, would be to run it through this tunnel. So let's do that right away. I'm not going to smooth the wall because I'm probably actually going to end up walling off uh, inside here. So that's going to run to there, which will be the inside edge of the wall, which is perfect. Okay, nice. We will have to work out how we're going to bridge this gap. It'll probably happen because um, I don't really want to conduit running on the floor here there is a mod i think it's called hidden conduits for exactly that purpose where you don't want to you know you don't want to you don't want your conduits conduits to be seen lying across the carpet kind of thing 
because um, unfortunately you can't run them under the floor, even if you can run them under a wall. Okay, so I think almost all the smooth wall jobs are done. Uh, this is taking quite a lot of time out of our episode, so... Ah, nice, the power's on, which means our guesty friends can go up... Oh, it's like one dude, for reals. That's what we've been stalling. Uh, let's just trade with Ben, or Bren, rather. Okay, Bren, you're gonna buy all of my shitty weapons, man. Thank you very much, Lee. Uh, let's just clear some of this stock. Keep the revolver. Uh, short bows, all that can go. Peelers, keep the bolt action. Cheers to the peeler. Uh, some dead man's clothing we can hawk. Uh, I do have the, um, what's it called, mending mod installed, which does allow us to remove that dead man's status, but for the most part, I'd rather just clear out the storage space right now. Okay, nice. Uh, not that it's worth really selling, but you know what? You know what? It's okay. Um, it's okay. Probably not going to use it, actually. We'll buy all your herbal medicine, what little there is, as well as all your pemmican. Thank you kindly, and then yeah, we'll take your we'll take your thirty pesos, and bid you farewell. Okay, cool. That cleared out a whole bunch of space. Very nice. We can probably sell him all of this crap as well if we get it hauled in, which will be nice. Let's do that real quick. Uh, turn that into some silver. Oh shit, slaughterer. Oh no, not milk. Okay, have you killed anything yet? Yes, you killed Rena, who I think was yep yep that was our bionically enhanced dog. Damn it, milk! Ah, this is the problem with having animals and a bunch of mental breaks. I wish there was a way to disable. I don't. I think rather, let's put it this way: there is a way to disable this stuff. But it's just you know, every time I lose a dog, I lose. Uh, oh, the turrets will take care of that. Milk, uh, am I gonna kill you? Oh man, you're one of my better dudes. What's a punishment we can? Uh, maybe milk can redeem himself somehow. Yeah. Observe rotting corpse. Where did that happen? You know, you must have gone out to the corpse cliff. Uh, maybe Milk can redeem himself somehow? Because killing everybody all the time, it's fun, but it's not the most efficient use of colonists, you know? Uh, oh, let's, let's beat the living shit out of him. That'll, that'll, that's a good start, right? Always is. Beast, you can help. Just beat him up. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll flog him in public. Garen, get in on it, the mass flogging. But Milk, you're you're luckily too valuable to murder. Even if you did kill our cyberwolf. I'm a bit bleak about that, by the way. So uh, we might we might be sending you on a suicide mission at some point to uh, to redeem yourself. But I think with that, we're going to call it an episode. Now, in between episodes, I am actually going to go ahead and we should probably patch up our guest. It's not going to look good if he walks out of here uh, all beaten up. In between episodes, I'm going to let a lot of this get done. Like, and I mean a lot. Like a full, probably a full 45 minutes to an hour worth of playtime done. And the simple reason for that is that this is actually just taking up way too much of our episode time. And I want the focus to be more on, uh, you know, the colonists and the playthrough and get them out of this little shitty room so we can actually begin the playthrough in earnest. Now, that comes with some caveats. Uh, I will be recording the entire thing, so if I decide to make it into an episode, I can. But um, for all intents and purposes, we're probably going to treat that as a jump cut of some kind. So, if you have enjoyed watching, please let me know down in the comments below. If you'd like your name and game, you know what to do. Drop a comment, hit that subscribe button, and let me know if you're liking the playthrough so far. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.